Hey, what's going on guys? John here. Welcome back to the channel. And now this video here is going to be a quick little update on the recent release of 2022.24 uh, of the Tesla build. This build is currently being pushed out right now. So if you guys don't have it, you guys are probably going to have to wait a little bit longer because they don't want to bog down the system of software updates. Over the air updates don't work exactly how Apple pushes them out where pretty much every iPhone gets it exactly at the same time. But in that sense, it does bog down the system and you notice that a lot of people take time to update whereas others just speed right through it. So Tesla is trying to avoid this and they are pushing it out slowly. But let's just talk about the firmware itself. 2022.24 is going to be a pretty substantial update and it's going to bring some pretty noticeable changes here, especially with the side repeater cameras. So you guys probably already know by now that Tesla has some sort of a blind spot monitoring system this is where the car can see the car right next to it and uh, put some kind of indication just letting you know that hey there's a visualization of a car here and a visualization of a car right here and it's just not enough so they did implement a new version of it and that is uh, that little live feed camera on your display every time you flick up uh, the signal but the implementation was so bad that I had to turn it off and I'm sure a lot of people are as well because we'd rather just not have it than to have it and see it block the screen but just imagine yourself holding the steering wheel and then your elbow is just blocking the screen regardless and that is exactly where the live feed was showing so what I'm referring to live feed is at the side repeater cameras will point back from each side of the car and let's just say you flick right or flick left of the signal you will see the live video feed of what's behind you and and that's a more solid indication versus the visualization. Well, anyways, with this update, it finally resolves that Tesla is adding three additional spots where you can move the live feed on your screen. So on its original spot is right at the bottom left corner of the screen, which your elbow would definitely block so you never see what's there. But you can also move it to sort of the middle of the screen at the top and then you can move it also to the top left of the screen as well. I'll drop the original video in the comments below of somebody that has this update already just for copyright purposes. I don't want to just take his video and just drop it in my own video. You guys know what I mean. Probably something bad is going to happen to the channel. But uh, regardless, this is really awesome because finally I'm going to be turning it back on and I'm going to be able to see exactly what's to the left and to the right of me in my view. I don't have to look down. I don't have to move my elbow to take a look at it. It really was ridiculous how it was implemented before. But finally, I think Tesla has got it right. Now, obviously, this isn't the best implementation. There are so many cars out there that have blind spot monitoring way Way better than this they have it in their side mirrors where you can just quickly briefly look over and you can tell if there's somebody in your blind spot or not just by that indicator this one here I have to look at the screen which is not preferable because when you are shoulder checking or when you are looking at the mirror that's really when you want to verify that turn is going to happen but regardless this is still better than nothing and I think there's going to be better implementation in future cars I think the heads up display is going to be added to the model 3 and model Y in the future this is just pure speculation right now because they can only do so much on the display in terms of just changing things around but when they add physical hardware to uh, adjust to you that's going to be where things uh, really make a difference so anyways guys this is just a quick little update if you guys are waiting for 2022.24 uh, just make sure that your software update tab is set to advanced so you don't wait too long and make sure that you're parked in a Wi-Fi area just so that the car can update anytime it's available and that should speed things up quite a bit once you do have it on your car please come back to this channel and let me know would you guys prefer to have it on or off at this point is it beneficial to you in any way uh, but anyways guys this should be it this is John once again peace out